That's awful. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have been tested for several years now, Yes, back to Marcus. I feel like Marcus' story is the like most fun. Especially now because he's on his own. He can do whatever the hell he wants. He don't ride in the back with the other androids. He's a real boy. Mark is looking like a whole snack. Ferndale. the graffiti in the environment. I need. Clue updated. Can you spare some change? No, I can't spare some goddamn change. I'm an android. Oh, I can't tell people that. Oh shit, what, what was it? I didn't even look at it. Is that like a lion? Looks like a lion or something. Like a tiger. Looks like a lion, not a tiger. Sorry, man, I don't have anything to spare. What you- I know. It's crazy, right? It's very crazy. Sure. CyberLife's fortune teller computer. CyberLife develops world's most powerful quantum calculator. Android soldiers, perfect killing machines. Android astronauts to explore IO. Na NASA sends Android crew into space. Hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scam. Leave my goddamn solar panels alone, you hackers. You know who you are, chat. You know who you are, you cyber life hackers. I ain't no, I ain't no android. I'm walking down here. I'm a human. I blend in. Blending in, boys. Do I think it'll be like this in the future? I'm sure we'll have some type of androids or, or I don't know, something like that. I mean, shit. I think it's pretty much inevitable to have uh, artificial intelligence, especially this level of artificial intelligence. We'll see though. Humans are dumb. I'm sure we'll make a stupid mistake along the way. Do you know where Jericho is? Can't be asking that shit. What if you asked the wrong android? Oh, it's right there. Hello, ma'am. She's staring at me. She's like, ooh, he hot. Ooh, damn, he's sexy. Is that an android or a man? Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Right above his penis. All right, I'm looking for a, a side of a building. I know. Okay, can't go that way. Fuck the law! See, that's I'm blended. I'm like I'm acting like a human. Androids would have uh, waited for green. I I run, I run. I gotta find like a rainbow wall. Oh shit! No, it's not over there. Sorry to bother you. I just really need some money. Yeah, well, I don't have any. I'm an android. That's a cool little place. Can you get hit by cars in this game? <laughs> I do not know where to go. And 
Antique Games. There's probably a PS4 in there. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Alright, before I do it, there's got to be more to explore, right? Oh, no, no, wait. That, that's just going to update the clue, so I need this to continue, I think. For Mr. Destructoid, boys. Can we get some goldy bots up in this bitch? Oh, I'm just I'm shouting it from the from the rooftops. I'm an android! I'm proud. I mean, I'm obviously not proud because I'm hiding it, but you know, hey, I'm man, proud in turn. What was the next piece I'm looking for? Oh, it's literally right here. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's let's uh let's explore before we do this. There's got to be some more shit. Like what the hell is going on over here? What are they doing? Are they Why are you playing catch in there? I want to play catch. Quit trying to hold me back, game. Go check across the street over here. There might be something. I don't think so. I think I just have to do the graffiti. I, I thought there'd be maybe like a special little area over here, but no such luck. I'm crossing. The light is green. Three of them. Where is that? Oh shit, it's I can't I can't do it. It's Oh there we go. I was gonna say there's a thing in the way. Good thing the fence is broken. Very convenient. Throw that bitch to the side. Alright, clue updated. We're looking for a face. We're looking for a face. Weekdays. $14. Discount A, discount B, discount C, discount D. Rate in effect. How many goddamn discounts? right here. Wait, you said one of three? What are the other ones? I see this one. face. Sparkle. We're looking for yellow text on a red wall. And it says sparkle? Use the right stick to select a root. not do that it would be too unstable oh hell yeah 
Is that what we want to do? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Initiate this bitch. Executing program. Oh, hell yeah. Hardcore parkour, baby. Marcus is... God damn. I would let Marcus fuck me. You know? It's an android. All right? It ain't game. It's an android. Oh, Sparkle City. Oh, it's a spark plug. I was thinking it was like some soda. I mean, it makes sense. Motor City. Rip Tom. Rip Tom. Okay. Three of them. Wait, there's three of them. There's another one. Alright, where's the third? Oh. There's a fire escape. Okay, we're not going that way. <laughs> Bad idea. Uh, up this way. Okay. Uh, okay, we can do that. Or can we just jump this way? Be too high. All right, let's not do that. I wonder if there's another way to do it though, from like way back here. Or is there only one? Is there like I I'm, I want to know if there's multiple ways to do things. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, let's not do that either. That's a risky idea. Is, is that it? Okay. Well, it doesn't really give you that many options now, does it? I guess there's only one way to actually do it. Without falling and dying. Execute the program. Alright. Climb, Marcus. Climb. Like you've never climbed before. I mean, it makes sense that, uh, that an android would be able to do that. You know, they can, they can scan and they can, uh, figure out the best action. The safest route. Route, route, tomato, to, to tomato, caramel, caramel, boys, all right? Wait, what does it look like again? No, wait, that's on, that's this wall. Oh, it's the whole goddamn thing. Looking for a broken wall. That literally is right there. Is that... Oh shit! Bruh! What happened to you? I can't go- I'm stuck. Oh yeah, superhuman strength! Oh, I, I guess that's just android strength. Oh. <laughs> 
this little wood pallet. All right, never mind. Got a little ahead of myself. I thought he was gonna lift up something crazy. Oh shit, look at that, boys. That's a beaut. Jericho is a goddamn boat. Yeah, he is. God, this game is so goddamn good looking. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I did not mean to scream. That was actually horrifying. <laughs> I thought I died. I thought I lost Marcus. I thought I lost Marcus. Oh my God. No, I was gonna be so upset. Dude, I thought we lost. I thought we lost our character already. What are we gonna do? Climb up this thing and then jump across? Like, come on. Oh no, it's a big, oh, this is perfect. I mean, I'm not scared of heights. I'm an android. That's quite the leap of faith. Dead. Splat. Where am I? Where'd my jacket go? I love that jacket. Why did you take your jacket off, Marcus? Find a way to see. Oh, well, that's conveniently placed. Let us straight to a trap. are locked. Why the hell am I on this goddamn boat? This is a shithole. doing? Listen, Andrew
androids can't be scared of androids, right? Maybe that's not even an android. It's just a fucking meth head. More red ice! Red ice! <laughs> Goddamn giant ship. What the hell is that? What the? Get up! You're an android! You don't feel pain? Pick up your flashlight. We're gonna be surrounded. We're gonna be absolutely surrounded. Android from the very first mission? Bro, I think it is. I think that's the. Is that the same one? It looks just like him. It looks like Daniel. Is that Daniel? Daniel. No, that's not Daniel. It's. Just, I. Oh, you know what? It's not Daniel, but it's the same. It's the same. Um. I bet it's not Daniel, but it's still the same type of Android. It just looks like him. Same model. Oh, no. I missed something. Oh, no. I missed. Uh. I didn't read something at the station. I missed something here. Continue on the Jericho Trail. Use the dumpster. I missed something here. Cross the gap. Reach the door. See android body. Oh, that's right. I did see that android body. The one that was hiding in that one room. Or that was that was dead. Alright, well, there's not really uh, much else you can do on this one. So. November 6, 2038. 3 p.m. Hank warm. Hey, Hank, what do you mean? How is Hank warm to us? Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. All right, let's go. Let's go make good. Let's go make good. Hopefully, it's probably gonna blow up in my face. Hey, listen, I got a shit like this. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, man. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Is he gambling? Is this hey, a bookie? You won't regret this. It's a bookie. He is. You are you gambling? He's a gambling man. What kind of what kind of bets what are you making, sir? Don't you ever do as you're told? <laughs> Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <sighs> Apologize for behavior. Partners review facts. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Hey, it went up. So that's good. Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm whoa, whoa, what? What happened? Okay, we already know that. Why can't I? His hand's blocking it. There, yeah, yeah, I had it. No, I had it. No, I had it. Don't leave that thing here. 
Oh, not a chance. Calls me everywhere. Hey, excuse me, sir. Can I have a burger? I don't eat them, but... Goddamn hockey. Hey. Have it, free meal, enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Shit, it's locked. Um, I don't know. Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. Does look pretty goddamn good. Deviance about Connor. Uh, let's talk about Deviance. Maybe I should tell you what we know about Deviance. You read my mind. I did? Proceed. Hell yes. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> That's true. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Hey, that's rude. Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Harsh. Really Can harsh, I ask Hank. You a personal question, Lieutenant. Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? Oh yeah, just a few. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. Oh shit! And it Hank went it's up. Two blocks yes. Away. We should go have a look. Let's do it, Hank. Come on. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. See, Hank, I'm not so bad. Connor's a good guy. I think Hank's a good guy too, man. He's just been through some shit. We know, we know deep down he's a good cop. Hey, Connor. Just based on his history. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Connor's such a little weirdo. Question the suspect. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Oh, Just shit. that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. All right. Well, it's not Nobody's that supposed way. to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate him every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Feathers. Columbia Olivia rock pigeons. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Yes, sir. I don't have to Better. write it. I just do it in my head. Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Same. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Bust that shit down, Hank. Oh, 
Oh shit, we're going in. I should probably, you know, back up my goddamn partner. Instead of just... What's in here? Freeze, motherfucker! Hang on, Hank. I'm reading a magazine. Red Ice Epidemic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me try that one more time. Red Ice Epidemic. The latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. NATO Security Council divided over Arctic dispute. UN warns of World War III. Where have we already saw that? World War III shit. The latest narcotic, narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. The synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of Android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissat dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. So, so, sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. As CyberLife's androids spread across the country, they will bring Red Ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium, the main ingredient in Android Blue Blood, is among the active agents in Red Ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association of Narcotic Prevention, NANP, say the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red ice dealers are reported to have an official motto, where the, blue, where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. Past the tipping point, Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Yeah, well, we know that. That red ice epidemic. That's the door? Alright, let me, let me, hey, I'll go in first. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? I don't know, man, it's a bird lady. You ever seen Home Alone 2? That bitch with the birds? She lives in here. Oh my god, there's so many Jesus, goddamn birds. This place stinks. Military jacket, secondhand initials RT. RT. Probably initials. Put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Suspect cares for wild animals. Yo, can I get by you and get to the bathroom, bro? What's this? God damn birds. It's an ID. Fake ID, Rupert? Travis Rupert. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Let's check out the fridge. If he's an android, he doesn't have any food. Definitely an android. <sighs> that is fresh air. See, all you gotta do as an android is just buy food, put it in your fridge, and they'll never suspect you. Urban Farms of Detroit. Urban farm poster, fields in the heart of the... That's not the same clue, is it? Yeah, it is. Where the fuck is the other one? No. Oh. It is the same. One of two clues, bitch, where? Oh, on the corner. 100% recycled paper. Recently moved. Oh, fucking move it. Take the, take the poster down. Ooh, what is this? What, what do I get? What did I get? What the hell? It's some RA9 bullshit. It's an RA9 Bible. Uh, I, should, I don't know. I should probably tell him. Yeah, I found some shit, man. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Right. What the birds? Get out of my face! RA9. Any idea what it means? RA9. 
written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Something to do with that notebook, Connor. Obsessive compulsive writing. Recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. There's a bunch of bird shit on it. recently midnight mood suspect was here recently that's the knock the crash <laughs> come on Android you're supposed to have some good balance suspect ran to the living room Why is there blue blood in the reported missing 2036 for two years? Oh, he cut out his LED. 1136. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigs. That's true. It's just fucking stink. Oh, God, I cannot imagine just how bad it truly smells. Fingerprints. Androids don't have fingerprints. Finger marks. Oh, they're not fingerprints. Skid mark. Recent. Metal hook. Recently broken. Reconstruct. Suspect ran toward the entrance. Damn, knocked all your birds? The hell are you doing, man? So much for caring for those birds, huh? Suspect heard us enter. Suspect is still here. This motherfucker's up in the rafters! Jesus, I hate the these things. Anything else before I expose it? All right, uh, Hank. Jesus, sir! Oh, uh, we gotta get it. What are you waiting for? Chase it! You chase it, Hank! What a dick! What an absolute dick! Come back here, you bastard! Rupert! Oh shit! Oh shit, this place looks dope. Fast but risky. Oh bro, we risk it for the biscuit. Balanced, safe, uh, I don't know. We're just gonna go this way. Woo, oh my God, I almost didn't get it. Let's go baby. Uh, direct but crowded, safer detour. Uh, let's go the safer one. There he is! Keep running! What are you doing? Oh shit! Woo! This is dope. Come here, you rat bastard! Shit. We're going this way. We went up top. Uh, slow, direct but slow, fast but risky. Let's go. Going all the way to the end. I'm gonna catch you, you son of a bitch! No fear! 
Oh, this is so fucking dope. Let's go. Woo! We on a goddamn train. Hank, stop him. Climb, baby, climb. Climb, baby, climb. I'm hot on your six. Slide in. Woo! We in! Where'd it go? Where did it go? Oh no, did I lose it? Hank! Oh fuck. Um, chance of survival 89%? Sorry, Hank! I gotta catch this fucking deviant! Please. I've done nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Sorry, bud. Gotta do my job. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors been deemed defective and will be sent back to cyber life for deactivation. Hank's fine. See? I told you. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. What did I do? You saw I was going to fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me. What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Uh. 89%. I you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Uh oh. <laughs> Come here. I mean, we got our perk. Are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. My oh, bad. You're just their slave. I said shut up. All right. Come along. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. Are you kidding me? I should have just saved Hank. Well, you gonna blame this on me, Hank? Fucking androids. You're the one that had a hold of it. I can't believe this. Put this on me, bruh. Put this on me, Hank. Oh my god, are you serious? I should have saved Hank. Now I got. Rupert committed suicide. <sighs> should have saved him. I should have saved him. Find diary. Oh, there's something else, though. Oh, I bet if you don't find Rupert, there's a chance to not find Rupert. And then he just gets away. Hmm. Interesting. 21%. 66% saved Hank. I'm going to have to really be nice to Hank moving forward. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. We're back on the Jericho. 